What is going on guys? If you haven't already guessed by the title of this video, today we are actually going to be planting our butternut squash. Sorry if you can hear a lot of workman noise. They're doing a lot of work behind our allotment site, so I'll try and speak up a little bit. But what we've got here is two uh, identical plants. They're called Metro, and they do produce butternut squash, but not as big as a traditional size butternut squash. But I'm um, doing some research on these because I haven't grown this, this variety before. I've grown butternut squash, but never this. Um, it does say that although they're smaller, you get a higher yield. So it kind of evens itself out in that respect. But what we're going to do, because we haven't got uh, an open area, you know, like a, like a large bed, where we could put these, we're actually going to use this container. It's got to be over 120 litres, which is three quarters of the way full with manure and then topped off with multi-purpose compost. There's drainage holes in the bottom and we've propped it up on bricks just to allow the water to drain through. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to train these up. Um, I've said it before in a previous video, so I thought, why not actually do it? So as you can see, the, the, they're more than ready to go out. Um, these have been inside our polytunnel and as you can see, they've started to yellow. So they need to go in basically. So before I actually put these in, I need some kind of cane structure so these can grow up. But what I've discovered is if you just put, you know, canes that are this tall, they're going to be six feet tall once I'm done trimming them down. They're going to basically bow inwards. I'll show you. So what I mean by that is if I put three canes evenly spaced and I want to bring them together like this, and possibly tie it about, about there, which would make it the six foot mark. As you can see, we've lost a lot of the space from the actual container. So what I've decided to do instead of that, because I, we're basically trying to maximize the, the growing room up as, as well as out. So bear with me. By drilling a hole on the outside of this container, this literally just came to me, we can insert the bamboo cane inside we can bring it up like this so our final uh, resting position of the canes will actually be outside of the container so what was looking like that as you can see we're gonna get we're gonna get a, a plant if this all works that's actually wider than the container so we're not losing any space going upwards and what that means is that they won't need to go as high because the circumference will be wider, if that all makes sense. So if I finish drilling these holes and I tie them off at the top, we'll, uh, we'll continue the video from there. So now that we've got all the canes in, bearing in mind we've got two plants and six canes. So what we're gonna need to do is create some kind of I guess it's going to be just string containment really. It's going to basically go around the outside of all the canes and make the plant self-contained really and I can train it in and out the string as it goes up and as it goes round. So this is going to take a while really, it's just tying lots of knots around lots of canes. So let me get this done and, um, and we'll come back and we'll actually start planting. Got to plant through strings now. <laughs> but all we've done, that's literally it. That will prevent the canes from wanting to sort of bow out again. And um, yeah, it would give the, give the plant something to lean up against and for us to sort of train in and out. But by doing it this way, we've got a, a larger growing area. So the lower leaves that are yellowing, I'm just gonna pinch off. There's not many, I think there's only one or two. The rest of the plant looks absolutely fine and we're just going to bury this basically to the same depth it was in the pot and then just firm it in nice and gently just like that and we'll do exactly the same on the opposite side of the container 
can see they're, they're just wanting to grow now. You can see they've been in the pot for quite a while now. So if we if we grow, if we try to find a face, I think that's just going to want to go out. I think if we go in like that, it can sort of come round a bit first. Again, just to the same depth. Firm down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, grow more granules just to the the sort of surface of this, just as a little bit of a, a feed because there's not a lot in the compost already, and then give it a water. And uh, yeah, as always, we'll revisit this as it grows. And I mean, it's probably going to want to grow out first, but you need to wait until it gets long enough to sort of manoeuvre. So. If it starts to grow out and I start to tease it up, I'm going to snap it. So let it let it grow out, let it get a little bit long, maybe 40 to 50 centimetres, and then I can sort of train it back in. And hopefully, you know, by the end of summer, this thing will just be absolutely hanging in butternut squash. But I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, this needs a drink. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. I thought I'd take this time just to show you around the allotment uh, and show you what we've done today. So this area here is where all of our potatoes were being stored in the 30 litre pots. Uh, and what we decided to do was rather than wait, we thought that we'd you know, set the pumpkin in the corner over there on the right. And then on the left, we've got the two butternut squash that will hopefully go upwards meaning that the floor space, all of the floor space that you see here will be, you know, specifically just for the pumpkin. That's the idea anyway. Uh, and then we've relocated our potatoes over here. We've got two lines now, which I think looks quite nice uh, with a walkway, you know, that takes you straight between the poly tunnel and the hen house enclosure. And uh, they're looking a bit sad because they've literally just had a water. But um, yeah, I've had a little, I've had a little look underneath. There is roots coming out the bottom, but yeah, I'm not going to disturb any of these containers yet, just until um, until they're finished flowering, really. And um, and yeah, over here you saw the peas. They've actually started to take a hold now. It's only been 48 hours, and uh, and already you know they're climbing. And then we got the two brassica beds, uh, which unfortunately are already being eaten. If I bring you down here just to show you. So uh, we're going to need to put put something over this, you know, pretty soon. But um, yeah, I'm not sure when that will be. Hopefully soon. Uh, and then we've got the same bed that mirrors the one that I just showed you down here. The runner beans are doing really well. Started to actually climb up the poles now. And um, and yeah, the leeks. I know a lot of people ask for an update. Uh, they yeah, I mean they're growing, but. There's not really a lot to show you guys at the moment. So, you know, as and when they do, they do start to grow and fatten up. I will obviously include that into the vlog just for you guys that are also growing leeks that wanted, you know, the comparison. And then in this bed, I didn't film this one being planted up, but um, yeah, we do have a mixture of flowers, including Sweet William. And, um, and there's, some, there's four bush tomatoes in this bed as well. As you can see, the rocket is finally done. That is, uh, it's just, well, I tasted it today and it's tasting really woody. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much ready for the hens to consume and we'll do a second sowing and I'll try not to let it dry out this time. But, uh, but yeah, the lettuce is, is doing really well. Uh, I made a third planter here, just literally out of scrap wood, um, just so we could continue the theme of having, having uh, some staggered lettuce. Um, and then the onions, which you saw in the most recent video, um, it's normal for them to look like that. <laughs> I, think I, I think I missed that out in, in yesterday's video, but um, yeah, it is normal. And um, they are actually bulbing up now. Uh, I didn't really talk too much about my onions yesterday uh, because I was trying to answer a subscriber's question. So, but yeah, I mean, as and when there's, there's more to sort of film and show you guys, I'll show you, but this is it at the moment. Now this area, wow, <laughs> seeing it on the camera. I mean, I can't remember the last time I actually walked you this way but as you can see it's growing really well and uh, it's starting to have that sort of natural jungle sort of look even though everything currently in this in this bed is very young uh, the grass that was given to me 
So I thought I'll, I'll plonk it in and if it, if it doesn't work, you know, at least I tried sort of thing. But, um, but yeah, the lavenders, Kelly actually trimmed up um, when we put them in. And yeah, they've, they've started to, to ball up really nicely. So, and as you can see, the dog has knocked the owl into the pond. <laughs> But everything is blooming, absolutely blooming. This was one of the, the marigold and sweet William planters that I made for Kelly. And as you can see, it's, it's just doing really well. Absolutely thriving. I think obviously we've got the hens. <laughs> Loving it, aren't they? <laughs> Loving the sun. Yes, they are. Yeah. They do. And then we have this planter as well. This is absolutely shot up, isn't it? Including the delphinium, which is all the way at the back. Wow, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then the thyme as well, which is just ready to, ready to use as and when we need it. Mmm, smells really good. That's pretty much it. I'll take it by the locked poly tunnel. We're done for the day. Yes. <laughs> and then yeah, I'll just walk you back around this way. So then we'll have a little feed inside their little enclosure <laughs> and then yeah that's pretty much it guys i just really want to show you show you the allotment plots um, and then i'll probably leave it for a few weeks until i show you you know walking around again and my god it's, it's just it grows so quick literally everything grows so quick so we've got um three tomato plants over here in the middle one is a bush tomato so I, I will be making a video very soon on how you you know how you care for for these plants and you know for those people that don't know you know that's all it is but they're looking smashing and they smell amazing so yeah that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching <laughs>